time because I wanted to talk to you guys about a subject. I want to talk about the emasculization of women online. I'm talking about how much this agenda is pushed. Emasculate, emasculate. While they're emasculating the women, they're effeminizing the men. They're, I don't need a man. Okay, I understand that you don't need a man. But how many women that are heterosexuals doesn't want a man? You don't want to one day meet someone and actually that person be just right for you and fall in love with them. Falling in love can be a beautiful thing. Why are you so mad and bitter about past relationships? Or if it's that bad, go and get you some therapy. Find out if you can get you some help. Because this shit don't make sense. I sit there and constantly over and over again, you see women saying, don't go to this restaurant. No coffee dates. No this, no that. All these rules in dating, when did this start? This makes no sense. That's why those of you that do that, you're not going to get a man. And obviously you want one because you're constantly online complaining about what they should and should not be doing. So when are, when are you going to be satisfied? You guys would rather come to the internet and talk bad on what a man is or is not doing rather than to make sure you're fixing yourself up and have yourself ready for when the right man does come along in your life. You know, all these women seem to be men. You guys are so masculine. It's fine. It's, it's wonderful to be independent. It's wonderful to, you know, be able to take care of everything you need to take care of. But it would be even better if you found somebody that you could share that with. Who does not want to find somebody that's going to be a lifelong friend, somebody that really and truly loves you, somebody that really and truly comes in and takes some of the burdens off of you, someone that could possibly protect you from being hurt again, someone that looks at you in such an honorable way, they don't want to hurt you. They go out their way not to hurt you. They go out their way to make sure you have a smile on your face every day. This makes no sense because I always hear the opposite. I'm not hearing anyone, any of the women saying, I can love a man even if this part doesn't match up. Because what's happening is you're asking for perfection. And a lot of you aren't perfection. You're asking someone to give all of themselves to you, but you're not willing to give all of yourself to the to that person. And I can tell because you're online complaining about it. And then it's this whole group of women. And it seems like, are you guys gay? Like, if you're gay, then you shouldn't be talking about men. But if you're self proclaiming to be heterosexual women, what kind of man is good enough for you? What kind of restaurant? Yeah, he can't go to this restaurant. We can't do this. We can what can he do? What can he do if he has limited time? If he has limited money. If you make so much money, um, and you can do it yourself or whatever, then you shouldn't be online complaining about what a man don't do. Are you willing to let somebody in to see if y'all can work it out? Everything is not about material. If you've already been successful and make your own money and things like that, try to find someone in your tax bracket. I'm pretty sure they're there, but they're still not the man that you want. And a lot of y'all women, y'all are so emasculated. You want to get in a relationship with a man that has less. And you volunteer to get in those relationships because you're so insecure that you got to have the control insecure, narcissistic. You got to have full control over a man. So you want to make more money. You want to hold that over him that he needs you. But you say you don't need a man. You shouldn't need anyone, nor should he. It should be, I want you in my life to just enjoy you. And it should be the same vice versa. But all of this, this is like, this is totally male bashing, y'all. Like, seriously. You guys are totally male bashing. You say you're not, but you're actually you actually are. And everybody want to be high value women, high value men. 
this makes no sense. It makes no sense. Because if you're willing to meet somebody where they are and you can be an inspiration, they will definitely get to the spot that you you want them to be in and you will be going along too, getting to where you need to be. But I tell you one thing, I would rather have somebody to love me and to be with me than to be online all day complaining that I can't find nobody. Then when I find somebody, they ain't good enough with their dates. They ain't good enough with their money. They ain't good enough with this and that. Come on, man. And then half of y'all be complaining about a man got to have this much money. A lot of y'all women can't even get in the rooms with men that make that kind of money. Stay in your tax bracket. Stay in your lane. Understand that men of certain, of certain stature, as far as when it comes to money and any kind of power, they're not going to want you. These men can actually build the bitch. They don't have to have y'all. Y'all out here trying to get on. It's women that's already on and women that's in the realm with them. Stay in your lane. Stop complaining. Stop acting like a man and maybe you can get a man. You know, a man wants to feel like a man. Not like, oh, this, I can do everything. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need attitude already. As soon as somebody asks you your name, oh, no, I'm not talking to you. Like, what is going on here? This is why the men come out and they be saying, angry black women, angry black women. I don't want no black woman. I want an exotic woman, as they call them. But they call us angry, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean... I'm just, this is just my opinion. I feel like women are starting to be way, way too masculine now. And I feel like y'all got to tone it down just a little bit. Don't stop doing what you're doing independently. But if a man does come into your life and want to be a part of your life, allow him to show and prove that he's worthy to be in your life. Don't forget, both of y'all are the prize. Not just you, lady. Not just you, man. We both are the prize. And together, we come together. Oh, baby, that makes it even more spectacular. And I just, that was my message. That's all. Thank you.